normal day, well, come in, start stretches at four o'clock. Uh, after that, we have our pre-shift meeting, and then we grab our labels, and labels tell us what products we gotta grab. So once we get onto our modules where we work at, we grab each case that's listed on the labels and just throw them on a conveyor belt and move on to the next, and rinse and repeat. I run up and down a conveyor belt all day uh, putting stickers on boxes. So it could be an eight hour shift or it could be a 14 hour shift, just depends on the day. On my day to day, I just pack freezer, grocery core, and that's the extent of it. Move to the next one and keep it rolling. Speaking from experience from the shipping department, you would usually on a normal day pack three, sometimes four or five trucks. So you're, lit, uh, you're packing upwards of usually around 60,000 pounds a day. Obviously we have a job where people can be walking as many as 14 miles a night um, on their feet. Just be prepared. This is a very physically uh, demanding job. Uh, you will be doing a lot of running around. This job does require some hustle and you're going to be working long hours. So just prepare for what you're kind of getting into and it's all pays off. I would say the hardest mental thing about the job is doing all the things that you need to do in a truck, hitting all the stops that you need to do, and doing so efficiently. And not letting yourself kind of fall into a black hole of frustration. Because it's like Tetris. So you know once you get your case in that spot, you just keep it level. Don't don't put a different shaped case or a smaller case on a case. Just keep leveling out Tetris, but the less you touch the case, the faster it goes and the higher your rate gets. So you definitely want to be accurate, definitely want to have a high rate of speed. Be ready for the most physically demanding job that you've ever worked, but be ready also for the most physically rewarding job. The thing with Gordon Food Service though, with our incentive system, hard work never goes unrewarded and it also never goes unnoticed. Uh, everything becomes second nature when you build up your habits on how you're selecting these cases, what you're doing. And honestly, it just becomes easy. You're just matching numbers that's on a case or matching an item description with a case. You're going to be sore, but you, you get used to that pretty fast. Then it's just going to click and it's going to be the easiest thing you ever did. In the freezer, you have to wear more clothes. It's, you just feel heavier altogether. Um, cooler is easy, you just throw on a sweatshirt and run around. You, you have a scanner that's strapped to your arm, so you have to scan catch weights, which are different weighted item boxes like meats and stuff. Groceries, a lot more walking. The mods are a lot longer. Cooler might have more restaurant-oriented stuff, while grocery will have more stuff for towards schools, mixture. It, like in grocery, it could be between like five to like 40 pounds, and cooler or freezer, it's normally between 40 and 100 pound cases. The hardest physical thing about this job would be some of the heavier cases or, depending on the day, the quantity of cases. It's very physical. You're constantly using every single muscle in your body nonstop. At first it's going to be tough because if you're not, your body's not used to this type of work, then it's going to wear down on you. But after a while, maybe a month and a half to two months, your body's going to get used to this. Once selectors get towards the end of their 120 day probationary period, they're gonna be looking to pick up the pace and kind of pick cases more efficiently. Uh, with that efficient picking, there's um, opportunities for incentive on top of their base pay. Um, the more they beat the, those times by, the more money they make, and it can be pennies to quarters to extra dollars on the hour. Uh, the basis of it is every 10% points that they have is an extra dollar on the hour and we have no cap on this as well, so the sky's the limit with it. On average, I'm making about 25 an hour. New people, uh, they probably won't be making as much as veterans, but they can always work their way up to get better at the job. And once they're better and once their things are much quicker and they get faster, they can start getting to the point where they help other people out. The pay structure for a packer uh, is based hourly, uh, but also incentive, and those in, that incentive is based on case, there are also other safety incentives and uniform allowance. Uh, the hourly and the incentive are separate. So if you work harder, you get paid more. So out of the benefits that we have as a company, I also really like the 401k because they match it each year. And then you can also pick your percentage of what you want to put into it. And you would, a lot of people end up being surprised at how much, you know, if you look at it now, how much they already have. Sounds nice. As you get older, you start to think about these things more. You know? So I'm trying to save up for you know, my time on the beach. <laughs>
this could be a nine to five for anyone, but I don't think that's the way this place works. Uh, you have such opportunities here. If you have even just an ounce of ambition, you can go, you can go to the moon. We never really are looking outside for filling any of these uh, promotional spots. So um, all of the opportunities in warehouse are all up for grabs for the people who come in the door and you know serve their time with Gordon Food Service. In the next five years, I don't want to be a packer. Um, not to say that I don't like the job, but um, one of the opportunities about this company is the opportunity itself. There's room for growth. You can pretty much go anywhere you want. I make great money here. I'm respected here. I like it. I love it. I plan to retire from it.